guys here's how to program a Pentair Flex 5800 XTR2 and the XTRI control valves uh, they work the same except the XTRI control valve has a Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth compatibility all right we're gonna set the day of the week and the time right, let's see if we can do this <laughs> guys, all right, guys, I'm going to try this, uh, see if I can program this uh, language, uh, set it to English, assistant maintenance name. So the maintenance name on here is going to be, uh... hey guys, fix it, John. I'm just going to fast forward through here because this screen is totally non-responsive. Fix it, John. So we hit the check mark. Bam. Uh, the phone number for Fix It John, uh, we'll just call that number and he'll be right with you. All right, guys, I'm going to program this uh, Fleck uh, 5800 XTR2. I want to hit this button here, day override, day override time, off, regen time. I'm going to set this uh, for 3 a.m. Sometimes uh, we got people up real late. Okay, now our hardness level here. Uh, it comes from the factory set at uh, 25 gallons, uh, 25 grains per gallon. Ours here in Florida, uh, this area here in Clearwater is anywhere from 10 to 15 grains. So I'm gonna set this, uh, I'm gonna set this at 11. I hit the check mark here. And we'll hit this button again. And we'll hit this again so we can go into the uh, master uh, master settings. Now, all over in this book, it says don't go into the master settings. If you're doing this yourself, you need to go into the master settings. Otherwise, you're not going to have a water softener that runs properly. Before entering uh, master program, please contact your local water professional. That's me. Now, I wrote the uh, master password on here. And I just did that in case I lost the book and didn't have to look it up. I mean, that's the same, that's the same password that's in all the Flex 5800. You're gonna find that same password. So we'll hit the check button. One, two, zero, one. Check mark. Okay, let's see what the format is here. Language, English, units, U.S., hardness units, gallon, grains per gallon, check mark, valve. Okay, system four, it's always system four, 5800, soften meter delayed. Let me explain that to you here. Filter meter immediate. So that means if, uh, don't set filter for immediate, Set it for meter delayed right there. What was the other one in here? Tank sensor. I don't know what that is. Time clock. Now, if it's running off a clock, if you have it set for hours to, uh, to regenerate, it'll regenerate immediately. But we're going to set it for softener metered delayed. That way, uh, if it's due for a uh, regeneration at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it's not going to regenerate until... 3 a.m. when we don't need the water and when it's uh, it'll be more successful and do a better regen if you don't use any water while you're while it's going through a regen softener uh, meter delayed so it's delayed medium value uh, what they mean by that is uh, how many cubic feet of resin you have in this tank I have 1.5 one and a half cubic feet Okay, uh, 1.5 cubic feet of uh, medium volume. Uh, salt dosage. Now, they recommend anywhere from six, uh, six to eight pounds of salt per uh, cubic foot of uh, media. That's your resin beads. Uh, we're going to go to salt dosage, and I think I'm going to take it up to, uh, let's take it up to 11. Hey, guys, just a heads up so you don't make the same mistake I did. Uh, the salt setting is per cubic foot of resin so if you set it to 10 pounds and have 1.5 cubic foot of resin you'll actually you, you're actually using 15 pounds of salt i didn't realize that at first and ended up using way more salt than i meant to bofc now they have a chart bofc size you want to go to uh 
0 0.125, and that's the flow rate. The flow rate that comes into the resin tank. Uh, I'm not an expert on this, but for this particular size resin tank, they recommend uh, anywhere from uh, 10 to 12, I think it was, uh, 0 0.125 gallons, gallons per minute. So it just sips on it. Take what I say with a grain of salt, but my understanding is it's the water coming in and it comes in slower, so it's able to work better somehow. Uh, capacity grains. Our capacity is 48,000. Check mark. Sensor sensitivity, nothing there in a check mark. Uh, day override, time driven. That is if uh, it doesn't go off within the specified amount of time. Say you're not using the water. Uh, I'd read that if uh, if you had uh, well water, do it every seven days. If you have uh, city water, do it every 14 days. Day override, time driven. So if it doesn't go within go uh, if it doesn't go in a cycle within 14 days, this will push it into a cycle. Weekly reserve, variable reverse, fixed. Reserve. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, regen. Did, did I do that one already? Okay, yeah, here, the uh, regen upflow, it's set for, I can change that. You can change that to uh, downflow, two backwashes, get the salt out, custom downflow, custom upflow, upflow. We're gonna leave it on upflow because supposedly that is the most efficient for a water softener. And that's where the water flows from the bottom and pushes all the crap to the top. It comes out at the bottom of the tank and goes up through the resin and goes up. So that's supposedly uh, more efficient, but I also read that it's uh, just a marketing gimmick, gimmick too, so. Step one, draw. It's gonna draw first for 60 minutes. And what it's gonna do is draw out of this tank for 60 minutes, time 60 minutes. Step two, then we do the backwash. Now this step, these steps will change if, let me go back to here. If I change the upflow uh, to downflow, uh, say for instance, the backwash may come first. Right here, step one will be the draw. So we'll use that one, 60 minutes, backwash, 10 minutes, rapid rinse, 10 minutes. Tank refill, 44 minutes. That refills the uh, brine tank. Okay, relay. Auxiliary, uh, you just leave those off. Meter type, we have, uh, took me forever to find the right one in the book, but uh, you've got all kind of meter types. Paddle, not very friendly to use this. Touchscreen sucks. It's a uh, 0 0.75 turbine. And I don't think you can do anything with that one. Emergency regen. We're going to leave that off. Uh, continuous flow detect. You know, I don't know if it's worth the extra money for the Model 5800. It's this push screen crap. Okay, it's on. Now it'll detect uh, a flow rate uh, at 0 0.5 gallons per minute at a duration of eight hours. So we don't have any leaks so far, but uh, I'm curious to see, you know, I don't want to find out a month later if I have a leak under the house. Uh, this will let us know right away. Continuous flow detect on. I just talked about that. Check mark setting. Language, English, units, U.S., intervals, off, valve, 5800, regen type, softener, uh, meter delayed, means it'll come on when it's scheduled to. Media, va uh, me media volume, 1.5, salt dosage, 11 pounds, BLFC size, 0 0.125. That's going to be for most homes there. Capacity, 48 grains, hardness, 11 grains per gallon, sensor, Day override, it'll go off in 14 days if it doesn't go off before. Regen flow, upflow. 
Step one, draw 60 minutes. Backwash 10 minutes. Rapid rinse 10 minutes. Tank refill 44 minutes. All right, so we've went through all that and we want to save it. Current settings will be saved as a non-factory setting. So we went to that little, uh, whatever it's called, uh, OSB chip, whatever. Now I'm, uh, we have, uh, what we have here, you can set it by days, how many days you have until it goes off. It hasn't been through a regen yet, so it's got uh, 3,636 gallons before it goes through a region. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a treatment. Regeneration now. Going to draw. What the draw is, it's coming from the uh, brine tank going into uh, the uh, resin tank. And you can see that's 59 minutes. We're not going to sit here and watch it all day. If you have any questions about this uh, water softener, let me know. I try to answer all my uh, legitimate questions. Fix it, John. Moving on to the next project. Thanks for watching. Just like the rich kids.